Hey guys, it's Rachel from Kiss and Makeup, and um, I'm just going to show you guys my natural hair routine and what I do, and I'm getting ready to take a shower, so I just want to show you guys what I look like before I get in the shower. Um, it's Saturday, I said in my other video that I do wash my hair every other day. Sorry if I'm talking kind of low, my husband's sleeping and I don't want to wake him up, but, um, and it's really, really late while I'm doing this, that's why I'm whispering, I guess, but anyway. Um, I'm getting ready to wash it. This is third day hair. I washed my hair last Thursday. So I'm getting ready to go ahead and get in the shower and do the routine. So as soon as I get out of the shower, I will show you what my hair looks like wet and I will show you exactly what I do. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back. So I just got out of the shower and I washed my hair, conditioned it, everything. Well, I forgot to mention in the other video about the products that before I shampoo my hair on Saturdays, I do go ahead and do a co-wash just so I can detangle under the shower, um, the stream of the shower, before I shampoo it. Because if you don't detangle it, then you shampoo it, it's going to be even worse to detangle. So that's what I did. And then I put the Tresemme Naturals as a leave-in conditioner. And I'm going to go ahead and leave that in. I'm going to be um, scrunching with Kinky Curly and extra virgin olive oil and this is all I use for my hair aside from Tresemme Naturals. I used to shingle my hair but I found that the less manipulation I do on my hair the less hair I lose, you know, obviously. So I decided to stop shingling it. There's really no need to. I already detangled in the shower. It's going to be curly anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and do what I did last week and I really liked it. I just kind of scrunched it, or not last week but the last time I washed it. I just scrunched it with these two products that I showed you, and then I diffused it. So I'm going to talk you through the process, but then when I start diffuse, diffusing, you're just going to hear the blow dryer, um, unless I can figure out how to put music to it. I don't really know. It's like super late at night, it's halfway into the morning. But anyway, um, so I'm going to, I'm not really keeping a journal or anything of my length, but I do want my hair to grow. That was the the first reason why I started um, wearing it in its natural state and I would say I started not too long ago but since the last time you've seen me my hair has grown about three inches three to four inches so it is growing and I'm kind of hoping it can be more healthy in its natural state I haven't used a flat iron I can't even tell you how long I haven't used a flat iron in a long time um, it might not be that long to you maybe like a month month and a half but that's so long to me. I mean, I was used to doing my hair every four days. But I'm going to turn around and show you the length um, just in the event that we continue to do these videos and I track my growth. So let me turn around and show you. We'll go ahead and lower the camera. So hopefully you can see. Make sure you can see. So I am. Just reaching like bra strap length, I'd say, in the back. It's shorter on the sides, of course. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I start off with the extra virgin olive oil. And I do take, I want to see if I can sh show you guys everything. I'm loving my little flip camera and tripod. So I'm going to see if I can show you as much as I possibly can. So let's see. Oh my God, it's not going to work. Okay, wait, there we go. So I'm going to take in my hand, pour in about this much extra virgin olive oil, so you can see. And then I just take that and I scrunch it into my hair. And depending upon how good this camera's volume is, you can probably hear the squishing of the conditioner. So I'm going to take that same amount of olive oil again do the same thing there basically. Um, concentrating on just different parts of my head. Don't forget the middle of the back. Um, I did notice in the beginning of my little natural hair journey or whatever, I was only focusing mainly on the sides and stuff. Not good. Not a good look. Because when you turn around in the back, you just look crazy. So that's what we do for the olive oil. I really hope you could hear the squishing. Um, just to show you how much condi conditioner I actually have in it. Let me put on my wedding ring. 
But just to show you how much conditioner I actually have in it. Um, so you can get kind of an idea. It's not soaked in conditioner, obviously, because you don't see a white residue. But there is a nice amount in there. It was squishing. So now I'm going to take the Kinky Curly Curling Custer. And I don't take that much for the first application just because this can dry crunchy. And you really don't need a lot um, at all, period. So even if it didn't cr dry crunchy, you just don't need a lot. So I'm just going to take this much which is like hardly nothing and it kind of has a gooey consistency spread on my hands scrunch again um and the thing is with the the tresemme um naturals conditioner i like because it's it's so similar to not today because i did try i was hearing that not only did Kinky Curly say this, but a bunch of YouTubers said that if you mix um, Kinky Curly with other conditioners, other leave-in conditioners and stuff, that it is like terrible and it gets all crummy. But I tried it, you know, I'm one of those people who has to do things for myself. And they were right, I should have listened. It was completely atrocious. <laughs> but, um, so needless to say, I won't be doing that again. So, I did listen to Tara916. She said that Tresemme Naturals was a perfect dupe for Not Today, and I'm not, I'm not saying that I would never buy Not Today again. I definitely would, but it's just more like the Tresemme Naturals, you just get so much more product for less amount of money, so why wouldn't you? And it does virtually the same thing, so like why wouldn't you settle for that or whatever? But um, I really... I have found myself to love being natural. I feel like it's so much easier. It's so much more fun. You can do whatever you want to do. If the wind blows, who cares? Because I don't know about you guys, but I found myself being becoming the kind of person who wanted like every strand to be in place when my hair was flat ironed or whatever. And it was starting to get on my nerves because if I go outside and it'd be a windy day, I would actually be like praying to God, like, oh my God, please stop the wind because my hair is going ballistic. So, I don't know, it's more fun, it's beautiful, you know, why not, why not wear your hair in its natural state, you know? And I'm not saying that I'll never flat iron my hair again, of course I'm going to flat iron my hair again sometime, but I just like this better, it's easier, I only have to do it every other day, wake up, shake it, and go, so... Right now, like I said. So, right now, I'm going to diffuse. See, that was it. Um, if you can see it. But that's all I had to do. I had to scrunch. I scrunched it. Oh, wait. Push pause. So, I almost forgot this. So, at this point, I take the Eco Styler Gel. And I just go ahead and put it along my edges. I don't use a lot because the Eco Styler Gel and any kind of conditioner, they don't mix. So, I can only put on my edges. If I go any further back than my edges, it'll start mixing with the conditioner. You'll have like these white, crummy residues. You just don't want it. Um, so, but I love the Eco Styler. It's the thickest gel I've ever used in my life. I keep looking that way, sorry. It's the thickest gel I've ever used in my life. Great for any type of hair. I've also used this to scrunch instead of kinky curly sometimes. Um, like if I know, like I'm going to church tomorrow so I want my hair to be a little bit more polished. But if I don't care if it's polished or not then I will use the Eco Styler to scrunch instead of um, kinky curly. So right now I just go ahead and smooth down my edges. I only do like the first inch of my hair, seriously. Like, you do not want the crumbs. And then they spread because I've taken a wet towel and tried to, like, wipe out the crumbs. They're not even crumbs. I don't know how to explain them. But I've tried to take a wet towel and get rid of them. But that does nothing but spread them. And then it just makes it even worse. And then you get in the shower and you wash your hair and you do it all over again. And it's wasted product. It's wasted time. So, never again. Never again. So, this is what I do. And of course the Eco Styler Gel does dry softer, so um, I like that about it. Like when I get done diffusing it, it won't be all crunchy or anything. Um, so I'm going to start diffusing the Jovic. I also have the Eco Styler Gel in olive oil, and I've been on the search for the Eco Styler Gel in with argan oil. 
but I can't find it. No one has it. And I think these are originally $4.99, but both of them I got on sale at Sally's two separate times um, for $2.99 without a coupon or anything. That's just how much they were. And so look at this. Com like compare the size of the Kinky Curly Eco Styler. Like, oh my God. I mean, if you run out of Kinky Curly, you don't feel like spending the money for it. Eco Styler, way to go. Love it. So, let's go ahead and get started diffusing. So this is my diffuser, clearly. And I don't have a huge diffuser head, but it's, I mean, it's a, I don't know. Like I said, it's not huge. But I like it. And that's it. So, um, I'm going to try and put music to this part. But... I might not be able to, so if you want, you can fast forward or you could just listen to the sound of the blow dryer, but this is how I diffuse. So I try to use it, um, like a lot of people say to use it on the lowest setting and the coolest setting, but I'm a very impatient person and I'm going to need my hair to dry because it is the middle of the night right now, seriously. And I really want to go watch a movie in the bed and fall asleep. So I'm going to use it on the medium heat setting but on high power when you click this thing up it goes to high power so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. for about 10-15 more minutes until it's mostly dry and I'll come back and kind of show you the end of what I do to get more volume and everything so be right back okay guys so I'm back again and I just wanted to show you um, where I am in the process I'm about I say like 60% dry my scalp is still wet um, there are certain places like my crown is still a little bit um, but everything else is pretty much dry I'm going to diffuse it just for a few more minutes and then that'll be it and I will let it air dry for the rest of the night and then to go to sleep I do put it, I pull it apart in the middle and put it in two pigtails up, way up at the top of my head and then I sleep with a satin bonnet, um, just this one. And that's it, when I wake up in the morning it's completely dry, I take it down, shake it out and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I hope you try it and I hope it works. And um, I'm going to continue to try new things, and the more I find out, the more I'll share with you. So, um, it, it, does, it does get bigger. When it dries, it just gets bigger and bigger, and um, the curls do elongate and everything. But this is um, pretty much how it's looking, like very, very defined curls and everything. So, I hope this helps. So, talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.